In this video, we're going to be making this auto-rotating 3D carousel here in Elemental. Now, someone actually messaged me because there's a couple of tutorials on YouTube on how to make this, even the most current ones for some reason, because they're using old code and that just won't work in containers in Elemental. So I read it all that code and now it's working in the latest versions of Elemental as when I'm filming this video. So if you want to download this complete working template as you see over here there's going to be a link in the description that's going to take you to this page on my website and you can just go and download it there and install it into your website you're going to be downloading a zip file and inside it is actually the template file which you would just go and load it up right over there so it's just as simple as just dragging and dropping now for everyone else who wants to go and build this with me, that is what we're going to cover over here. And I'm going to show you a couple of extra features that you can change the perspective of this. So I've taken that other code and I've made it a lot better for today's Elemental. So here in the Elemental page builder, we starting this off like we always do with our first container. So just going to click Flexbox and I'm going to choose that one over there. Now, before I get into the settings of this, I'm going to add a second container over here just to add the code. It's what I normally do. Bring the code at the bottom. So I'm going to go and duplicate this one over here. And this is going to be our code container. So here on the right hand side, I'm just going to say that this is the code container. So when I'm editing later, I know exactly what's going on. Now, for the settings of this, we're going to just remove all the gaps. So for this here, the gaps over here are zero and in advance the padding is zero so there won't be any white space at the bottom of the page so in over here all i'm going to do is just grab the html widget and we are good to go there we'll come back to this when we actually start putting in the code so now for the name of this first container i am going to change that to the scene container now the settings of the scene container is i'm going to keep it as boxed and the min height here i'm going to change to vh and I'm going to set this to 100. So it's 100% of the screen. Then the column gaps here, just setting to zero. And then while I'm here on this layout screen, this direction, I'm just going to make sure that it's horizontal because we are going to have text and all this stuff over here and then the actual gallery. Now, in here, I'm going to add this, the two containers. So it's going to be that one there and I just duplicate it. Now, this first one, I'm going to rename to the content. And then the second one I'm going to rename to the gallery scene. Again, it's just for easy reference. This isn't going to change the code at all of here. It's just to know where everything was when you come back to the design. Now for the settings of the content container, I'm going to make sure that it's center. And then the width here, I'm just going to crank it to full width. Then the settings for the gallery scene, do the same thing, full width, 100%, and make sure it's in the middle. Now, what we are going to need is under advanced, we're going to need a CSS class name. So, in the description of this video for you, there's going to be a link to the reference page that is going to take you to this page over here. And it's going to have everything you need for this build. So, the very first CSS class name we're going to need is this gallery parent. So, we just copy that. And we are just going to paste it into the CSS classes for the gallery scene. Now inside this, we're going to add a single container. Now we do need this container because the code works in a way that needs the parent and the gallery. So that's just how the code works. And we're just going to do it with containers. So we're going to go plus sign, get a container and put it in. Now this one, I'm going to rename to the actual gallery. Now this one's an interesting container because this one we can actually control the whole perspective and everything with because that's how I set it up. So everything is as easy for you as possible so that you don't have to go digging in the code for these type of things. So the settings for the gallery, it's going to be 100% width. Now the min height, we're going to keep it at pixels and I'm going to put it at 215. Now we are going to come back to this min height because you can adjust it any way you like and it's going to change the perspective of the whole thing while keeping it working. Then direction is just going to be vertical and we are going to center align the items. Now this one in advanced needs a class name. So in that reference page over here, we're just going to copy the second one. That we are just going to paste right there. Now inside this gallery, we are going to add our images. Now how many, it's up to you. I am going to go with six. Um, don't get carried away with too many images because then you're just going to break the code. 
I tried to be as dynamic as possible, but there's just a limit to this effect, okay? So less is cool, more you're pushing it, six is a good place. So I'm gonna go and grab the first image. So that image widget, put it in. Now here you can choose whatever image you like. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one right over here. I'm gonna keep it at large, it's fine. Now if we go to style, the width here, I'm going to change it to pixels and I'm going to say that this is 200. And then the height, I'm going to do the same thing, pixels 200. The object fit is going to be cover, center, center. Border radius here, I'm going to set it to 10 just to round off the edges. Now you can change the sizing of this if you want to. You can change the styling if you want to do overlays, borders, whatever. It's, it's up to you. But that's pretty much how we're going to be setting this up for this actual gallery. Now that's the settings for this image. So now I'm gonna duplicate it so that I have six here, and then I'm gonna change the images for all of them. So I'm just gonna duplicate. Second one, change the image, choose that one. Third one, duplicate, change image to that one. Duplicate, there's that one over there, and let me carry on doing this. Number five, it's going to be this lady, and duplicate so that I have my sixth one so there's my six images now let's go get that code and make this work now if we go to the gallery scene under advanced under custom css we have to go and put stuff there so in the reference page we go grab this first code which is for the gallery scene container it's a small code over here grab that and we paste it in right there so that's just changing the position to relative and display flex now on the gallery container that's inside the gallery scene, same thing, go to custom CSS, go to my reference page and we copy this code here and we paste it in. Okay, you're really seeing this thing starting to take shape. Now, back in the reference page, we scroll down and we've got the script that we're gonna put in the HTML widget. So we copy that, click on the HTML widget and we paste it in. Now we have that whole effect working. Now, remember I said that you can change the perspective. Now, because this is 200 by 200 pixels, if we go to the gallery and we go to the layout and you see that min height here. Now, if you want to change the perspective so that it's top aligned and bottom causing the 3D effect, so we drop the min height. So you can see it moving. We're just going to have to adjust it. But you can see that the more you go down, the more top aligned it is. 215 was a good spot and the same is reverse for if you want it to be bottom aligned. You just crank up this min height and it's going to change your perspective. Okay, but we are not done with all the settings over here just yet, because we do have to do the left hand side and we have to make this mobile ready. So I'm gonna put this back to 215. So this is more or less center of this whole thing. Now, while we're on this gallery container, if we go to mobile view and we go to advanced, the margin here, we are going to delink and we're going to give this a negative 300 to push this up the whole page. Otherwise, it's going to be just too much space. Um, depending on your perspective, you will have to change this sort of thing. Okay. So if you wanted a more bottom or top, you're just going to have to change with the, the margins here on both desktop and mobile. But right here, the way we're working with the middle perspective, this is just perfect. This is the only settings to margin we have to do. Now, here on the left hand side all i'm going to do is just grab the heading grab my text and grab the button and then all of these things what i'm going to do is just put it right aligned and change the color to black text same thing right align black button style right and then just change it up a bit so the typography i like it at about 18 at an uppercase and then the styling over here, the background, I like to remove. Text color, black. The border, put it in. Add about two pixels, also make it black. And then the border radius, put it at 50, so it's nice and round. Then if I go over to hover, flip it over so it's white. And then the color is black, black, so it does that. Now, if we go over to mobile, you can see that's the sort of look that we want. If you want to put this more center lined in mobile, it's up to you. But this is how I've set it up over here. And now you can see that the spacing with that negative 300 is working there. So again, if you change the gallery perspective 
you are going to have to adjust that a little bit. So let me put it back to 215. And that is that. Nice and easy. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.